get a drama as a toy for Christmas. He was one of the greatest innovators. Did they know to and right? Hey everyone, it's Justin Townsend with Harvest of Nature. I'm going to teach you today how to clean um, lobster in preparation for both the stock and to cook on the half shell on the grill. Today is the opening day of mini season here in the Florida Keys. So I went out with my daughter and we grabbed about five lobster, brought back. We're gonna make some stock with it, like I said, and then we're gonna grill it up. So first thing that you wanna do is get your lobster ready. I like to put mine on ice and keep them chilled, uh, especially if we're out in the boat or anything. Uh, it just makes it easier. But um, there's a lot of different ways to prepare lobster. Uh, to clean it so you'll see some people just grab the tail and just yank out and they'll throw the head away um, I do like to use the head of the lobster for for stock you have to clean out the uh, Basically like the organs inside and then you end up using the shell, but it makes a really flavorful stock um, Also People will bypass the meat so once you pull the tail off if you just manually pull it there's a bunch of meat up here that you're gonna miss and you'll see later. And I like to basically split it down the middle so that I can, one, cook it in the half shell on the grill, and then two, uh, it also lets me get access to that meat up top. So first thing you wanna do is you want to kill the lobster if they're not already dead. So, all right, once that step's done, then essentially from here, you're just taking them and you're gonna use a, a good pair of kitchen shears and you're just gonna split them right down the middle. And then from here you can see you can see the inside of that meat here so you want to get rid of uh, this little sack that's up here so that'll impart some bad flavors onto your stock but you see all the meat that's located here in the front if you just pull the tail that meat will release and so you'll actually miss it so I just take my knife here and uh, just go down through here and clean that out really well and then you can come along the back side here and you slice this piece away. You got all your good meat here. So now, essentially, we'll, we'll clean up some of this up here a little later. But we're gonna just set that aside for the pile there. And so same thing, we're gonna get rid of this, this uh, sack up in the front. So, like I said, we'll try to get most of it out while we're doing this. And then the second part, you're gonna go through here and you're gonna clean out um, put this here. I always use gloves uh, to make sure that I don't stick myself because the spiny lobster can be quite prickly. And once you get all that out of there, you're going to go through, cut that loose. So I typically don't split it all the way down the tail until after I have everything sort of out of the way. And the reason I do that is because so some people, you have to clean out, it's uh, basically like it's uh, bowel tract. So it still has some feces in there uh, from when it was alive. So a lot of people will just take the antenna and they'll just break off a piece of the antenna and they'll use it for this. I grabbed this tool uh, a couple years ago and it's come in really handy. So what essentially you're gonna do is you're gonna find, locate the anus and you're gonna insert this in there and then you're just gonna pull it out. You can go in from the top and do the same. Then you want to make sure that you're pulling out basically their bowels. So you want to get that out of there. That's garbage. We don't want that. Do it a couple more times to make sure that you grab any bits. All right, so now if you wanted to cook this lobster tail whole, you can just like this. But like I said, what I like to do is I like to, to split it down the middle. And so you just take your shears again and you're literally just Cutting, cutting it in half.
and boom. As you pull it apart, you now have two lobster tails ready for the grill. Pull up pans.